Now we have created two charts on our dashboard. However, they are fairly static and do not allow a user to easily filter the data represented. To dynamically filter or change how data is displayed in your charts, controls can be used. We'll first create a drop-down control, which will allow us to select from a list of defined options. To create the control, we'll select Add Control, and then choose Drop-down as our control type. We'll first need to name our control project name, and I'll select the Multiple Select setting. Selecting Multiple Select for the control will allow us to choose multiple projects at once to filter by. Next, you should select the data source for the dropdown to query against. After you've selected a data source, you can view the data source's schema to select the column you want to filter your charts by. Because I want to filter my charts by project name, I'll expand the project table and we'll select the name column. If you want this control to automatically be connected to any existing or new charts, then you should select the connect this control to new and existing charts setting. You'll then need to select an appropriate filter operator. For this example, we'll use the is one of filter operators since this is a multiple select dropdown. We'll then add the control to the dashboard and I will place it here. And next we'll create a second control which will be a calendar control. To add a calendar control to the dashboard, select add control again, but this time we'll select calendar as the control type. You can change the control's name or leave it as calendar. Next, you can decide the type of calendar, if it should be a range of dates or a singular date. Each data type option will also be able to be set as a relative date or a fixed date. Then you can set the default start date or dates that the control will use. By default, the default start and end dates use relative date variables. The default starting position will look back four weeks from today, while the default ending position will be today's date. I'll change the default start to 12 weeks prior to today and leave the default end as today's date. I'll select add to also add this control to our dashboard. To connect a calendar control to a chart, we'll need to edit one of the existing charts. Once back in Visual SQL, we can edit an existing query to add a new query filter. For this example, we'll expand the issue table and use the created at column. We'll then use the between and including filter operator and select the starting and ending positions of our calendar control. You should also note that any control filters that are automatically applied to a chart will be in purple while filters you add yourself will be green. Now I can save this back to the dashboard. You can verify that these controls have been connected to your chart by hovering over the control, expanding the ellipsis, and then clicking Show Connected Charts. Any charts connected to the control will be briefly highlighted with a yellow border. Now you're ready to begin dynamically filtering your charts.